angry guy here, and women are furious that men don't consider women the prize anymore. Guys, help me get to 100,000 subscribers by subscribing to the channel if you already haven't. Like the video and turn on notifications to never miss another video again. Now let's begin. Women are furious that men don't consider women the prize anymore. Let's just go ahead and jump right into the first video. Remember that you're the prize always. Say that one that, more time. Just remember <laughs> that you are the prize. Yes. That's like his golden slogan for me yeah and so. what does that mean for you in relationships when you're like i'm the prize what does that mean it just means not compromising like my values my happiness my peace not settling for less than what i know i deserve yes. and not being afraid to walk away from a situation if it's like no longer serving me so these women think that they're the prize they think that men are supposed to serve them validate them and continuously add more and more value to their lives when it's the man who is the provider, the protector, who brings the most value to the relationship. So think about it. The person who brings the most value to the relationship is the prize. The argument that these women have is that their very presence makes them the prize. Women in Western society have not had to compete for men in decades. And as a result of that, along coupled with social media, they now believe that their very existence and their looks are simply enough to be considered more valuable than a man's money, his utility, everything that goes along with that. Women don't comprehend that a queen without a king is nothing more than a glorified peasant. And that is not being disrespectful. That is the truth. Because if you do not have the king who brings the value, he brings the money, he brings the protection, he provides stability. He has other men that follow him because he's he's been able to gain that influence. Then ultimately, he is the prize. A woman can go around calling herself a queen all she wants, but without a king, that is nothing more than a title that would be given to a person who exhibits narcissistic traits and is essentially a glorified peasant. Guys, we have another video we're going to check out, so let's just go ahead and jump right into it. When it comes to dating and relationships, who is typically seen as the prize, the man or the woman? The woman. Ooh, the woman for sure. The woman. The woman. The woman. So if the woman is the prize, what would that make the man? The wallet. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't that place the man at a lower value and status to the woman? Yeah, exactly. Yes. Don't women typically want to date a man on her level or higher? Yeah. Yes. So, don't women typically want to date a man who's a prize and not a loser? You see, women will never actually admit that the man is the prize because they don't have anything else. They bring nothing of value in Western society. They say they don't cook, they don't clean. A, a real man does not expect a woman to contribute anything of value to the relationship. Her presence is enough just by her being in the relationship. His life will get better. His wealth will be amplified, which is a load of absolute nonsense because they're going out looking for a man that already has these traits, that already has this value. And now they want to latch onto him and say that as he continues to grow and build and grind, somehow they're contributing to that. And yet they go and find these high value men that had all of these traits beforehand. And women will always want to date a person that's better than them. But the irony is that once they get that person, in their eyes, the man is now lower than them. Because if the man was not lower than them, then the man would not have accepted them into their life. This is the intriguing thing. This is the reason why the man is actually the prize. If a woman does not acknowledge that the man is the prize, then in reality, what she's saying is that a man is foolish to get into a relationship with her because she's always going to lower his value in her eyes because she has no business being with him. If a woman is working at McDonald's and making $30,000 a year, a man does not look, look down upon her for doing that. But if she's working at McDonald's making $30,000 a year and thinks that she is entitled to a high value man that has been out there grinding and building himself up, 
And she needs to now go and find this man, enter his life. He's going to put her on a pedestal and she needs to contribute literally nothing to the relationship. It's delusional thinking. What does a high value man have? A high value man has options. So the reality of it is that she thinks that she's going to step into the relationship and her very presence is enough, even though she does not know how hard this man had to work and grind to get to where he is today. It's a very ridiculous thing. But when you go overseas, a foreign woman is more than happy. In fact, she will compete for the average Western man. She will compete with Western women for the average Western man. You go to Germany, a woman will buy you a drink. That's a completely different thing. Why do? Why is a woman going to do this? It makes perfect sense. Think about this carefully. When a person is typically dealing with a very high value person, for example, if I want to meet with someone, I want to do business with someone who has a lot of money and has a lot of influence, even though I don't have that kind of money, I don't have that kind of influence. I'm going to invite this person out because this person is the prize. And I'll invite them out and say, let me invite you to lunch. Please allow me to take you out to lunch because I am trying to show them that I want to add value to their life and I want to get access to their value. This person doesn't need me to buy them lunch. This person does not need me to do anything for them. But I know that this person, this man is the prize. As a result, I'm going to do things to show to show value, to show that I am a, I value their time. Modern day women don't think like this. This is why when you go overseas, women will actually do things for you. Women will pay pay for your drinks. They may cover the cost of a meal. They'll go above and beyond to keep to show you that they're willing to compete for you and they will compete for you because you are the active prize. If they get you, you're going to be the provider. You're going to provide for them. You're going to protect them. You're going to add value to their life. You're going to build a family with them. If you're a man that has the ability to stay off the streets, that's another very big thing for a woman. That means that you're not going to go out there and constantly, you know, leave her in a situation where she's worrying that you're going to, that you're out there with other women. These are high value men. The, the men that women in Western society don't want are the men that women in the rest of the world are desperate to get. If you go to Mexico and South America and a lot of other countries, a lot of these dudes are in the streets. A lot of these women can't hold on to a single man because these men are the prize in these countries. So these men will they'll get into a relationship with a woman and they'll have two or three other women on the side. And a lot of these women know this consciously. So when they have a man from Western society, a man from Western society tends to be more forgiving towards women. Because you go to the Philippines, a lot of the Filipino men won't tolerate anything. They won't tolerate nonsense. They won't tolerate back talk. They won't talk Tompo. They won't tolerate Tompo. Oh, she has time for Tompo. He has time to go walk down the street and meet up with Susie, who's not going to not going to give him that type of behavior. I'm just being very, very straight. In the Philippines, these men will walk out just like that just like that. They don't tolerate this stuff. And they tend to be more, they tend to be less generous. Like they'll basically do like just small things for the woman. They'll keep their money to themselves. Like, you know, give her a bit of money to buy food and, and little things here and there, but they're not handing over their entire paycheck. They're focused more on their self and their survival. This is not to say that there's not a stronger family unit in the Philippines, but you have to understand that the men over there aren't tolerating nonsense. They are more likely to, to prioritize their well-being than the well-being of the woman. They will happily walk away from that relationship and find another woman immediately. Immediately. That's just the reality of it. About prizes, because I keep hearing so many women saying, you know, I'm the prize, you know, he's got to come to me, he's got to pay, he's got to do this, I'm not sharing the load, I'm not, it's got to be him, he's got to be the provider, he's got to, he's got to, he's got to. That's fine. I do understand that as women, we are the prize. He that finds a wife finds a good thing, sure. But don't get so caught up in your prize and your your value that you forget the fact that your man has value too. That you forget the fact that your man is also a prize. And if you don't believe me, then ask all these women how much they're looking for a good man. 
So don't get it twisted and put yourself on a pedestal that you're so much above him and that you're higher than him or that your value is higher than his because you are a team. And if you are a true prize, you are someone who's ready to reciprocate. You don't mind splitting the bill. When we go out to dinner, I'll take out my wallet and pay. I take my man out. I, I spoil my man. I buy him something. It goes both ways. A true prize is a helpmate. So know the difference between a prize and a price because some of you guys are not prizes. You're a price. And if you are a prize, don't be the booby prize. She makes a lot of sense right here. A woman has to make herself a prize for a man. And she has to continue to continuously show a man why she is a prize, why she offers so much value that he wants her in his life. The man is the ultimate prize in the relationship. He absolutely is. But a woman has to work to make a man prize her. Think about it very carefully. When women say that, oh, a man has to do this and a man has to do that, and I am the price, what they're really conveying is that they are a price. This is the price that a man will have to pay for access to her presence, her attention. It's, it's absolutely ridiculous. And in a relationship with a woman like that, her only, only trait, the only thing that she has to barter with is her SMV. So basically, she's going to weaponize that. He's not going to get easy access to that. It's literally going to be, well, have you done this for me lately? Okay, you haven't? Well, you don't get any. Okay, you have done this? Okay, so maybe I'll give this to you. You know, you get one time. It's kind of like you're on a reward system. The more you do for her, you know, the better your chances of getting very limited and restricted access versus Chad and Tyrone who get it whenever they want it, even when you're married to her. Because if think about this very carefully. If you marry one of these women and you're not in a, you're not basically getting it on a regular basis. If she's like 27 years old and you marry her and you're not getting it on a regular basis, you need to comprehend she didn't just suddenly change overnight and you know her desires have gone away. What's happening is that Old, you know, that old dog out there is blowing that back out. Old dog out there is blowing that back out. If you're in a relationship with her and she is basically cold towards you, she doesn't want to be intimate and she's young, she's still dressing attractive and she's going out with her friends. Guys, she's still in the streets. Okay. She was never yours. It was just your turn and she's just using you. I guarantee you, if you're in a relationship, and you're only getting intimate once or twice a month or even so every couple of months. Guys, she is getting her back blown out by Chad and Tyrone still. 100%. And you have to be so careful because when she gets pregnant, you know, you have to go and check the paternity of that child right off the bat. Like I said, in everything, all relationships, you should view everything that a person says, especially when it comes from these individuals, as a lie and then try to look for the truth in the lies. Because if you view it as the truth initially and try to look for the, 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 the lies in the truth, then, then you're going to always be at a disadvantage. 100%. A woman has to prove to a man that she's the prize because a man right off the bat is the prize. She would not be dealing with him if he was not the prize. She would not want him if he was not the prize. So now she has to show him why he should prize her, why he should prioritize her because she adds so much value to his life that he wants her to be in his life. That's the honest to goodness truth. The reason why modern women behave like this is because they have not had to compete for men in decades. Guys, help me get to 100,000 subscribers by hitting the subscribe button if you already haven't done so. Like the video and turn on notifications to never miss another video ever again. What do you guys think regarding all of this, everything we've discussed here today? Women are furious that men don't consider women the prize anymore. Let me know your thoughts in the comments and we'll discuss them there. Like the video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you like the video, share the video. And just remember that all roads lead to MWA, men walking away, and cheers.